Hi, Vikas. Hi, sir. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How okay, Vikas. Yeah, fine. Uh, like that. So, can you introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Vikas. I'm from Hyderabad. I have completed my graduation in 2022. And uh, I have one year experience in non IT sector. And I completed a uh, six month internship at uh, Grandfit Software as a mobile app developer. And uh, my technical skills are uh, Python, uh, CSS, HTML, and uh, Flutter. And, uh, uh, my office on cricket and watch. Okay. So that internship is as part of your course or uh, after completion of your degree? When you after, uh, like uh, after completion of my degree. Achha, after degree. That is good then. You have passed out in 2022 and then yes. for six months you did internship. Can you do exactly what you did during your internship? Can you Actually, I have developed two mobile apps. Uh, mm -hmm. I worked in uh, Frankenberg. Uh, I worked for Frankenberg. So what are the tools you have to just provide your master? Uh, uh, visual Studio Code, okay. uh, mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. Okay, so now you want to become a developer, right? Yes. Yeah, so you mentioned about Python, okay? So are you familiar with Python? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so can you tell me roughly how many programs you have written in Python total? Uh, total Some count you give. Yeah. Around 100. Around 100 you have written. Yes. Are you confident about that? Yes. That's good. Okay. So can tell you what is Python basically? What is Python? Python is a programming language mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it is uh, interactive and uh, interpreted, mm -hmm. object oriented. What do you mean by interpreted? Interpreted means uh, uh, it is used to convert the source code into machine code, mm -hmm. uh, but in the interpreter uh, it converts the source code into machine code by line by line okay. so that we can uh, get, uh, uh, get in which line the error is. Mm -hmm. It is easy to find. Okay. Easy to find the errors. That is good, right? Okay. So, like, uh, do you know about the list database in Python? Yes. List. Okay. So, can you tell me something about list? Yes. Uh, list data type contains uh, uh, it can contain any number of elements. Mm -hmm. And uh, list data types are uh, uh, so elements can be or any data types like a string, numeric, or any any, uh, any data types. And uh, list is a mutable data. Type. Mutable. What do you mean by mutable data type? Mutable means it is editable. Editable. So can you elaborate more for me? Like uh, if you pass any parameters, uh, like uh, if you pass numeric parameters and later on we need the data and we, pass, we want to pass any uh, string, strings or numeric mm -hmm. then we can pass. Can we have a list inside a list? Is it possible? Uh, Let me say, like uh, I have a list with three numbers, one, two, three. Now, first number in a list, can can I use another list? First number. Yeah, first element or second element, any element. So, my fundamental question is, can I use one list inside other list? No. Think, think, think. Okay. So, what are the conditional constructs in Python? Our conditional constructs are our if, else, elif, nested. Okay. So, how we we'll use, uh, like, you know, when we use, el, uh, like, you know, else if, else with if. Instead of, uh, if we need to uh, uh, like only two statements, mm -hmm. then we can use if. Can you give an example? Like uh, the case of uh, uh, true or false, mm -hmm. then we can use Achha. So what about elif then? Elif uh, to pass multiple statements. Multiple conditions. Okay. Right. Okay. So do you have do while loop in Python? No. Are you sure about it? Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me what is the difference between a for loop and while loop? For loop is used to when uh, we know the number of iterations we need to perform. Mm -hmm. uh, in while loop, uh, if we don't know the number of iterations, then we can use them. So when we don't know like uh, the number of iterations, then how you are going to terminate that loop or like continue that loop? Uh, what is the base? What is the base for that? Based on the value. Which value? Uh, the oh. value which one. That is fine. Okay. Right. So, you told that you have uh, you have already written 100 plus programs, okay? So just I want to write a small program, okay? So can you write it? Yes. Please take the marker. Even odd numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. For example, I will give one number. So whether that is even or odd, I want to see that.
Yeah. Can you explain that line by line? So first line you are taking input, right? That is yes. correct. Uh, then what you are doing in the second line? The second line, uh, we are checking the reminder. Mm -hmm. If the number is divisible by 2, okay. then it is even. Okay. If it is not, it is odd. Achha. Okay. Right. Uh, that's fine. So, uh, can you write one more program? Like, uh, I want to find out the like something like you know factorial. Okay. Can you Achha, do one? I want you to print the multiplication table. Okay. For example, n equal to 2, now, then it has to print the 2 table. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. You write it. Ha, up to 10 that's it. You can take up to 10. Can you tell me what exactly it is doing? Actually, uh, we are taking a uh, range hmm. from uh, 0 to 10. Why you are taking 0 to 10? Uh, like table starts from 0. Ah, so 0 to 10. 10. Achha, you want to print n into 0 like n into 1, n into 2 like that. So that reference number you are taking there. That is good, right. Ah. Then what you are doing? You are storing then the result in A. Yes. Okay. Achha, every time you are uh, printing. Okay. Now can you tell me, if I put that print statement after the loop, outside the loop, what will happen? What it will print? Only last value will be What will the last value here in this program? In this program, to 20. Okay, then come and sit, no problem. Good, thank you. Leave it, leave it. Yeah. So, yes, Vivek, uh, that's good. Uh, like, you know, most of the uh, answers that you have given are correct, okay. But um, little improvement is required, like, okay? so this is something like feedback to you now, okay. So, you are confident about your answers, but that same confidence is not reflecting in your voice, okay. You have to speak a little bit louder, it is better. Your answers are correct, 90% of your answers are correct. But whenever you are telling the right answer, you should, uh, you know, specifically mention the confidence, right? So that confidence is little missing, okay? So you have to improve that. Then uh, one more question I ask you like that, how uh, how you are going to like decide the determination for the uh, while loop, right? Yes. So in that you said no. So that is based on the condition, right? We are going to write a, use the condition, right? So if that condition, as long as that condition is true, then the while loop will continue, okay? Whereas in for loop, we will be like uh, uh, mentioning the number of iterations itself first, like count, we are using range function, something like that. So that range function is specifying, but in while loop, we can't use that range function. So what we do is, instead of that, we'll use a condition. So the termination of the while loop depends upon the condition. So once the condition is false, then that will be terminated, okay? Then another question that you made a mistake is, you know, you can use a list inside a list. So that is called as a nested list, okay? Even multiple lists also you can use. Means, for example, if you take one list, in that first element, it can be one list, another list. Now, in that list also, you can use other list. So, like nested list also, it is possible. That is also possible. So, other than this, not remaining are correct. Okay. So, prepare well. Okay. Good luck. I wish you all the best. Right. Thank you.